I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it a life worth living is a life worth Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Breach and Sweats. I am so excited to film this video and it is my how I packed for Ocala 2022. I did this last year and I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, so I decided why not film it this year but also include more of like the horse stuff that I packed as well. So so this is everything that I packed for both me and my horses for the circuit. So first things first, I am going to send you guys into a little flashback to about three to four weeks ago, I'd say, when I started packing for the horses. Hello everyone, kind of the beginning of my packing. We started to pack a little bit last night. The boys leave on Saturday, so we're trying to get everything organized and ready so i'll show you guys kind of what i have thus far and then i'll kind of keep coming in increments of like what i'm doing just for the horses also yes jt's already down there so all of his stuff has been packed and i pretty much sent the exact same thing i'm sending lux in so they're pretty similar so kind of imagine i'm packing for both of them and they're getting the same thing I have the stanley trunk and i didn't even bother cleaning it this time because i know it's just gonna be gross wherever I go so in my top thing here right now I have the Uncle Jimmy Licky thing that I posted about in my coral haul and then just like a couple like knickknacks and things that like would sit here perfectly fine and then below that I have a bunch of little blankets and things I am bringing a tote here but um I have a 200 gram a medium and heavy I think all going in there so it's gonna be a tight fit um I have this Equifit Hunter Girth um this is Show Girth and then I have pads, and they all say their names, so just Cornish, and then Continental, and then below these, so far, um, I have, this will be, like, a boot bin, pretty much. I have this really weird-looking fly mask that we're gonna try with Lou. He does not really like his fly mask, and this is really soft. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't come all the way down to his nose, um, so it won't cover his snip, but... If we can do this and he keeps that on and adds some sunscreen, we'll do that. Then we have my bit bag here. A bunch of different bits, also important bits in here. Um, and I just threw them in a bag so they weren't floating. That's what I have so far, obviously with it only being Monday and then leave on Saturday. A lot of my tack is still being used, so I haven't even addressed that yet. And this is already really full, so that's gonna, that's gonna be fun but um that's kind of what i have so far i also forgot to mention i have this little like med box type of thing so i have this a and d um ointment hemorrhoid ointment i have silver ointment uh scratches meds and th and then silver honey spray and it is thursday yesterday and yesterday we found out that they're actually leaving today because we have a big snowstorm coming so I'm gonna pack everything up. You're gonna watch me pack everything and then I'll show you guys everything, like how I organize that. But yeah, crazy change of events. I just rode both of them. Um, and just like got them moving and they leave in about two hours, two and a half hours. So kind of crazy, but I'm gonna pack up both of their trunks and get them all ready. I can't explain all of this, but I'm gonna try. So I have my bridle here, the super core, then his leg wear and all the products you're bringing. In the back again, I still have the bits in the, the products that could spill. I have his back on track here, I think forward pads. Um, Lulu's halter, then I have a fly mask, and then I have all the tums in the world. Ear Sophie's salt lick, thingy mabob, the shoe shiner. I'm gonna do me like you think so, and then a bunch of blankets, some boots, and polos down there. And I have all the legwear I think I mentioned. 200 heavies and mediums all are going in there. I have their little like duffel bags. So I have two Irish weaves and two coolers for both of them. Then I have both of their shipping halters and their Palm Bell boots. And that's all, everything. And I'm gonna try to close that up. And I could barely get that one closed. Thank you. 
They're both closed. Everything is good. I have to pack up actually all their med boxes and everything. Um, and then we should be good. <laughs> oh my god. Now that you're caught up with everything that I sent the ponies down with, I am going to be sharing with you guys everything that I am doing and preparing and packing for Florida. I put all the clothes that I'm even considering on my bed um, and then kind of sort through. Uh, unlike last year, I do not need uh, nearly as many clothes that I brought. Um, I found that last year and even the past couple weeks that we've been in Florida that I don't wear a lot of regular people clothes. I typically just wear, you know, my riding clothes and then some sweats when I'm doing school. So, yeah. It's a quick little like thing about what I'm doing to pack. So we are actually going to be in two different condos, one for one week and then for the rest of the time we're there and another one. So I'm only really packing a carry-on for the first week and then I'll pack like a big check bag for the rest. So some of the products and stuff I'm putting in a separate bag or the clothes I'm only doing half in one bag because I don't really need all of them um, because I don't want to have to worry about forgetting something or something if that makes sense. And last thing, and then I'm gonna get ready. So like last year, I'm gonna pull out all the clothes and put them on my bed that I'm even considering. And then I'll go through and actually figure out which outfits I really, really want, if that makes sense. Alright, I put all my clothes over here because it made it a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I have. So over here, all like the sweatshirts that I have, um, mainly for school. Back here, I have joggers. I love to wear my joggers um, while doing school. And then back here are like the sweatpants that I have. Uh, then I have pants here. So I have some jeans, regular pants, and then some shorts. And I have two sun shirts that I love and then um my show uh gear I have like normal people shirts and stuff all of my lulus that I plan to bring then I have all of my sweatshirts here my belts jackets that I'll be bringing right now I only have one because I'll be wearing some of them today here I have the breeches swimsuits and the hat that's everything that I have thus far I am now in my bathroom and I'm gonna go through and pick out all the products that I want to bring. I obviously have to kind of think big when going away. So um, a lot of things I'll be bringing. Two of everything, like my house can carry I'll pretty much be bringing two of everything. To pack up all my stuff, I think I'm pretty much be able to hopefully fit everything into two um, little dop kits and then maybe a Ziploc bag for the things that might spill. So I have this dop kit. This thing I love, I love to be able to hang it. Um, and it fits a lot of my products. Um, so this would be like my main dop kit and then this one is a big big boy i'm going to be putting like the bigger products that i have and things that i don't necessarily need every day in there okay this is what i have so far so this little chunk here is stuff that I'm still going to be using, um, but will be packed into here. Um, and here is like my jewelry that I'll be bringing. This bag here is all of the products that I'll be bringing. So I have lotion, um, shaving cream, shampoo and conditioner. Over here I have just kind of like extra things. And here is all my hair stuff. So like my claw clips, clips in general, all that stuff. Here is all the stuff that I would be using day to day. So I have my toothpaste, this brush for your fingers to get out all the dirt, um, a lip balm, a concealer, and then another lip balm that's a little bit tinted. Um, and then the rest of the stuff that's like over here, my toothbrush and everything will go in here. So over here, it's kind of like extra things. I think I'm gonna paint my toenails tonight. So that's what I'm gonna use. And then my Aquaphor face wipes. I face wipe my face after every ride after I take off my helmet. Um, so these are extra, so those will go actually in the car. There is some nail stuff. So this bag is all the extra stuff. This will go, these all will go in like the checked bag because yeah. And by the way, when I say checked bag, I mean like a bag that would get checked at the airport. We're actually driving down, but it just makes more sense for me to say the ch a checked bag than 
a big suitcase, you know? So. And then kind of thrown down here, I have my blow dryer, then my like straightening blow drying brush, the red one thing, and then my straightener. Okay, didn't know I do online school, so everything I do for school is all in here. So obviously the majority of it has to come with me. So I'm going to be packing up everything that I'll need. So I'm going to go through all of this, kind of put it on my desk. I'm going to do that. Majority of my school stuff is in this more face bag. I'm gonna show you what's inside. I have my whiteboard here, which I literally use all the time. I cannot go with the circuit without this. Then I have my two pencil cases. I have my calculator and flashcards. And here I have uh, my planner, the notebooks that I'll be using, and then some folders. All right, so um, a couple weeks ago, my mom surprised me with one of the coolest things ever. She got me a Malort bag. I was so excited. I've been wanting a Malort bag forever. So this bag is going to be the bag that I that will be beside me the entire trip. Um, it's really easy. I brought it with me to Florida and it was so easy to pack, use, everything. Um, I probably won't pack it quite yet because I'm still going through and needing some things. But when I do, I will show you guys how I packed up my carry-on. Hello, hello. Uh, it's a lot later now. It's now 6.38 p.m. We ended up doing a ton of stuff. We went to like Target and then like the local mall um, to get up a couple of things. And then we ended up coming home in this like insane snowstorm it was crazy and i packed up the majority of our snacks and i'm now watching the uh hunter spectacular at wef while finishing packing up okie doke so i have all of the my suitcase packed for what's going to be the rest of the travel i guess you could say um, so the other suitcase I'm bringing, I'm actually sharing with my mom, which will be the one that I'm relying on for a week. My Ego 7's here, uh, which I'm currently potentially returning. We have to kind of talk to them about the fit and everything. Then I have this little packing cube, which will be for the hotel tomorrow night. And then my Maylord bag, which I packed up a little bit more. So in the front here, I have gum, obviously. And then, um, headphones in here. My AirPods will go in here. Then I have screen cleansing wipes and um, like a medical kind of kit. Uh, hand sanitizer on the outside and then you open this thing up and it's very heavy in the front right now without my computer. My portable charger, my Kindle's in here, um, and then just a couple extra things in here I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to pack as minimal as possible. That's what I have in there. I also did not show it, but I packed up all of my breech and sweat stuff. Obviously, I'm going to bring the merch. Um, if you do want to get merch, um, you can go to my website and click the shop link and go right through there and order. I just painted my toenails, so I'm waiting for those to dry a little bit. I think I'm going to help my dad pack up the trailer a little bit, and then I will shower, and then that's pretty much it. Hello, everyone. I was editing this vlog and realized I did not film an outro. Um, so I'm back to kind of end this video. Uh, pretty much for the rest of that night, I helped my dad pack up the trailer, finish up a couple little things, and then I went to bed. We woke up in the morning and we started driving. Uh, I'm obviously in Ocala now and having so much fun. It's been a blast. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!